No, he was gonna do that. Did you change your jersey? I'm wearing all black. Let's get it. Oh. Coverage of the NFL has us at newly named State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Today we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Minnesota Vikings and the Arizona And we are underway here on EA Sports. This is taken just shy of the 10. And I ain't no car. <laughs> uh. fun, fun fact, when I bought my car, it had like Viking stuff all over it. Yeah. I told him I don't want that. First play and a first pass for Cousins. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can what? be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage right. as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage. Because man coverage, particularly running away from someone, so. they not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Now Cousins. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. Man, don't start it's holding me on my picks, man. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. And a sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. Cousins to throw for it on four. Ah! Incomplete. They cannot convert. Oh, my God. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this nah. defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. That's some BS. First carry for James Conner. Despite the strong That's run, he'll BS, be hit man. and drop shy of the 45. Eric Kendricks in on the tackle. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On 
On second and nine, Murray to Connor on the check down. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. Sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Here's Murray. Forced out to oh. his line. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. They're going for it. It's Murray. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he is going to have the Cardinals first down as they manage to convert. And <laughs> a defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On first and 10 is Connor. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the Man. middle of the line. A lot of oh, not God. much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine. Oh, my It's going to be one of them games again, huh? Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right yes, there. Man. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side of their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, Mark. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. Man, bro, I got a crash. I lowered it. Now. I'll keep pitching it. No, he out. Ah, oh, that is okay. First down from Minnesota, Cousins finding Thielen. That is okay, bro. They think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to no, different people. Bro. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And a good push up front. And he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. A first down throw for Cousins. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. <laughs> they want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Listen. Throwing again, Cousins on second and ten. Let's go. Come on, baby. So 
Now, Charles, our first points of the game provided Maybe. defensively. What a play that was. And I can only imagine that the folks at home watching are thinking to themselves. Maybe. That's one of those plays where once the ball leaves the ball back to hand, you just simply go and wait for the result. This time, the defense benefited. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> Here's Prater now set to kick it away. Well, you saw him me up in time for the play that Kyler did. So we will start here at the 25. No better. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. You back to it after the pick six. Cousin. Oh. Complete to Justin Jefferson. Touchdown. That's Vikings. so gay, bro. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man. One play. I don't even know how you didn't break up the pass. I hope you miss out there, bro. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense... All right, now I got to now I gotta play. Really now I got to do my, uh, my no hood offense. Big time result. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. Might gonna score on the first play. What type of stuff is going Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7 7 the score as they begin first and 10. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Again, a run with counter. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 34. They'll try and run for it with counter. He's not going to get there. That well, how? Close. It was blown up in the backfield. They're going to run. Here's Connor. What you going to do? And now Murray's going to set up the throw. And that is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. On second down, Connor looking for space. And some room to work. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now Murray. What he He's taken down. Oh my gosh, I come through the ball. He's the one who gets in there and brings him down to the ground. Well, many times when you talk yeah, about start quarterbacks, team. you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. <laughs> Trying to fit it into more, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Chandon Sullivan. Oh, he should have fumbled. <laughs> finally get him the 10-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles. Bro, I threw the ball. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him, Necessarily, mm, but I also wonder yeah. if it's going to nerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one, or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? Cousins gives way to Cook. 
And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it'll be second down. But well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. On right, second down, it's Cook again. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back in the 16-yard line. That play buried behind the line by the linebacker, Nick Vigil. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Just a little too lackadaisical, Charles, and they didn't get up and snap the ball in time. Delay of game. Yeah, and I'm not sure if he understood where the clock was located in different stadiums. It's in different places. You have to check that in pregame and make sure you're aware so you don't run into penalties like these. If we get this, I promise. Bro. Now Cousins on fourth down. Picked by Trayvon Mullen. Look at this. <laughs> Let's go. Ten. Stop. Ten. 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 I said, if he gets 20 yards, I know some. So they get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. The freak was that? I said, this man get this, man. I know some. <laughs> what a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 14. Oh, man. This offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well here in the first half. Another try after the first down sack. Cousins. And he's got this to Jefferson. He's up right there. Look. Cousins. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively. And now it brings up fourth down. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they throw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 
They've been burned twice already on fourth down, but the third time's the charm as they keep the drive moving. First down, here's Cousins. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. Buda Baker is cold. That's a huge play by this defense at a close ball game. I think he was trying to just extend the play. They're getting outside the pocket, but he throws a costly pick six. Yeah, he's trying to find something exactly right. He wasn't I told him, bro. I said, bro, I know I can beat this guy, man. happy on the defensive side to gather that one in and take it to the house. Who you got, Kirk Cousins? will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They can certainly use it down by two scores. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 39 yards there, a big one. I think it's pretty safe to say that initially they had to be thinking about trying to get into field goal range. But after that shot right there, They've got to be thinking bigger right now. Well, that was probably their thought offensively. If we hit this, great. Let's go for the end zone. If not, settle for a field goal. Looks like they can try to hit Pater. That one into the hands of Thielen. Complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. the 27 Cousins and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today Jalen Thompson picks it nah don't quit I ain't quit when you was kicking my tail <laughs> You got a whole another half. A great individual defensive effort there to continue what has been a very lopsided first half. You going to quit on my live stream? That's crazy. <laughs> I got some content to upload. out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try to wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks. Like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween, and you take what you want. And my goodness, another interception. Jalen Thompson picks it, and he will be brought down on uh, what will be the final play in this first half. I think I get the ball back anyway. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports.
And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Third quarter starts with a run from Connor, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Murray going to throw. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to the yet unable to successfully complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone and throw to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw, it's Murray. Uses the stiff arm, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Andy Lee now. And the way this offense is Nah, if I was over the fifth, I would have. Come on, y'all. I feel like you and I could be in our backyard with the <laughs> <laughs> oh, look it all the way in. Make sure you secure it. I had the feeling of not happening there on that play, but he didn't have full control of the ball. When that punch coming in, I'm a return punch, but I would imagine it's tough to monitor those guys coming full steam ahead at you. It really is. You try and get that peak to know where they are about whether you should fair catch it or not. But sometimes you just have to have a, a sense, a feeling, and just have to make sure, number one, though, you catch the ball and put it away. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Here's Murray. What? Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, bro! He was wide open. To excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Raiders kick is good, and that will extend their lead. That was a first down. They just cheated me on my kick. But they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. I say, you know that man not clutch. Under pressure. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On second and 11 now, Cousins. 
That is caught by Thielen. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now Cousins here on the bootleg. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. On first and 10, Cousins. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Nick Vigil picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Now Cousins. And he's got his big tight end over the middle. Complete. Cousins on first down. Oh, I was reading it. I take it in by Jefferson. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Back to the ground, Cook. And he's brought down. Despite the deficit, he's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what the scoreboard is saying. Oh, set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll run with Cook. And after the good game last play, this guy is saying, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, man. On second and goal. And this ball is caught by oh. The three yard touchdown pass. And the Vikings are able to cut into that deficit. Boy, you were well, funny, just man. That's how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, gotta give him credit. Found the perfect play. Call. Yeah. The quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free. And his guy. And it's intercepted at the goal line. <laughs> well, there's some excitement. Right? Go for two. And instead, it gets picked off. And how about the return? We should have got the two point. I think our two point conversion is just a turnover. You got to get the other. Is that a fair rule? If you're going for two and I get a, and you turn the ball over, I should get the two points. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And now you've got the clock. At least a point. Three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell mell like you would in two minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four minute football. Take the clock out of the game. You know how big that man is? But at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Oh, he threw that ugly. Looking middle and it's incomplete. He threw that. Defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it, and oftentimes knock it away. On second and ten, Murray. Oh, my running back. <laughs> He's known for his legs and his fancy footwork, but he's not getting a chance to use it here. The defense continued to hold the upper hand by bringing him she down. Way to the way. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. What? After watching him drop that slant, I can hear the coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball. They, 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 they hold him off. They hold him off. Before he secured it. Here's the veteran punter Lee. But shout out to my defense, man. They say defense win. And he's out of bounds, but not before a big pickup 
that time on what's going to wind up being the final play of the third quarter. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's the Vikings in position. And I'm so the pissed. They need some points. I can't here. even record on my PS5. I'm going to just play zone the whole way up. I ain't taking no chills. I didn't get out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? That's the same thing that just happened to me. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this uh, game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And now here's another interception. Picked off by Byron Murphy. <laughs> what a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. The give it and it take it away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. Meanwhile, Murray's throw complete there to Moore. Touchdown, Cardinals! Love Murray, 33 yards! And the Cardinals are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. That's all. No good. He missed it wide to the left. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And this will be a touchback. I, I told you yesterday who I was going to get. What? We had a... <laughs> you don't know what you ate. I had some papa. <laughs> I had some papa. <laughs> that they would need a near perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing. CD. Oh, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy. It'd be funny if you would have fumbled. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news that. This one is getting close to being over, and then trying to hit the reset button. All right. Cousins now to throw on first down. What? At the six yard line. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. <laughs> Ah, oh, he missed. Into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved. No, I want to play, man. And partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well. His teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure. But that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion. Why you one lucky. One play ready. I've been missing wide open passes the whole that's game. Example right there. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone is nah. not a good decision. All I gotta do is hold the game, man. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. All I got to do, man, it's going to be four minutes of offense. This fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Okay, okay. 
Murray again. This is Connor. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, you usually get to bet as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, I you don't you come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. On third down, it's Connor. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. He gets a good chunk of yards there, eight all told, but they're still looking at a fourth down. Here's Andy Lee now, as he's on to punt for Arizona. Of course. I ain't worried. Here comes Rager. I ain't worried. A nice return that time of about 14 yards, and it will be Vikings ball first and 10. I ain't worried. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. You might come back. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need... And my goodness, another interception. Jalen Thompson picks it. And they will score. It's a pick six anyway. for the Cardinals touchdown. This defense is continuing to do their thing, and now they add on to that lead with another pick six. And how about the way they've played this entire game? Not only did they put their stamp on them, but every time they try to make an offensive challenge, they find a way to find a way to multiple pick sixes. Oh, yeah, they'll enjoy watching this tape after the game. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll start by handing it off to Dalvin Cook. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one. It might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Second down, they go right back to Cook. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 10 yards, and it's good for a Viking first down. Now defensively, with this lead in the fourth quarter, I guess you can allow a run of that magnitude. You're right about that, but really the focus has got to be don't fall in love with the idea that you're getting big runs now. You're right. They're actually being allowed. They've got to think really hard about getting some chunk plays through the air, too. 46 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. From the 45 on second down, Cousins. Ah! He's throwing the ball up for grabs now. Fortunately, that one going to fall incomplete. You might have the regular for the most picks thrown in the game. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that. And it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. Throwing Cousins. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone. And the frustration, the body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Again, it's Cousins. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Try to dive oh. the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. On third down, Cousins. We can have him now. Tight end, that's Smith. Touchdown. You want them so bad. Herb Smith Jr. With his second I touchdown. say you want them crossing the routes so bad. And the Vikings get a bit closer. 
Cousins will try and throw. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. You should have picked it. That would have been another pick stick. I would do some dumb stuff, but I ain't gonna do it. Connor up the middle. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Again, it's Connor. Oh. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's gonna set up a third down and two. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of Taking a knee is boring. happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you watch high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe you want me to? have to think about going for it. Especially where they are All in right, terms man. of field position, because this is almost like no right. man's land. Might hurt Let's your see. punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine tenths of a uh, possession is nine tenths of winning the game. Oh. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> that boy clutch. Nah. I don't play for short. No idea. The Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, this game has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's... And now here is another interception. Jalen Thompson picks it. And the Cardinals are going to have the football here at their own 45-yard line. Ball up to the 35. Nice turnover. That's crazy. Down to Anigo's Murray as that will just about wrap this thing up. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing That's it in front crazy, of the home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd you know you got to play at third crowd some time this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels, <laughs> and to share it with the home team. Charles, a lot of happy faces. DZ, man. I still got to work out today. Understandably, so not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is of all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. Hey, I got some content on there.